Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Revan here and welcome to another tutorial. Making a clipping mask in Illustrator is a bit different than what you might be used to. So in this video, I will explain multiple ways of doing a, a specific clipping mask in Adobe Illustrator. Each way has its own benefits, so depending on what you want, you can achieve and pick the one that is best for you. So in total, we're going to cover four ways. Uh, to do certain clipping masks in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, first of all, we're going to do the draw inside. Uh, the second technique is a clipping group. The third one is a clipping layer. And the fourth one, as you can guess, is an opacity max, mask. Sorry. So, without further ado, let's get to the first one, and that's the draw inside one. So, the point of the draw inside one, the one on the top left, is that you can draw or do some stuff inside a specific object pretty much what the clipping mask does but without actually uh, clipping it already you're saying okay whatever i'm doing over here i want to be clipped inside so how do you do it uh, you select the object so we're going to go to the draw inside layer so i put everything in a specific layer just to make it more clear uh, you're going to select the object and we're going to change the viewing mode or the drawing mode sorry and uh, where you do that if you go to the left on the toolbar on the left you can see at the bottom here you have drawing modes as the standard one is draw normal but if you put that to draw inside if you look at the circle and the outlines you can see that they change to us to dots what that means is whatever you do now is inside the circle so we're just going to do command or control z just undo it so without the uh, draw inside one if i just pick a bright color and I would draw, it would go over the edge. But if I select the circle and change the, uh, the drawing mode to draw inside, and I do the same exact thing, so I get the brush, change it to a yellow, let's just pick the, uh, that one, and I'm gonna draw, as soon as I let go, it's get, it, uh, it gets clipped inside the circle. So you can just make like a, what's it, like a, I don't know, some kind of a basketball or something. So whatever you do, will be automatically clipped inside the object, which is say, okay, whatever I do, I wanna put it inside that. Cool, so that's the first one. The second one is a clipping group. So we're gonna go back to the selection tool, we're gonna to select that layer, and we've got two things. We've got an ellipse, and we've got a pattern. And what we want to do is we want to clip pattern inside the ellipse. So how do you do it? You're gonna make sure that the the object where you want to clip it in, so in this case, the circle has to be on top. So you're gonna select the circle. You can right click, go to arrange, and select bring to front. Shortcut is a com a shift plus command or control plus the right bracket key. And I'm a big fan of shortcuts, so I'm gonna do that one. Or you will just use the shortcut command uh, or control plus shift plus the right bracket key and it's on the front. So the next step is to select both of them. So we're gonna select the circle and we're going to select the pattern. You can go to object and clipping mask and make shortcut command or control seven. But as soon as you do that, as you can see that the, the colors of the circle just disappeared like vanish oxy action. So the way to bring that one back is if you go to the layer, you can see there's a clip group. If you open a group, you can still see the ellipse, the circle, and the pattern. And if you select the circle by clicking on the dot at the back, you can bring the colors back. And here you go. So now it's back. Cool. Um, we're not done with this one yet, but we're first going to do the clipping layer, so the third method, method. And then I'm going to explain the differences between them so you can understand yeah, what's different between them because they're very, very similar. So we're going through the clipping layer and what that does is it's actually the first step is the same. The thing, the object where you want to clip it in has to be on front. So we're going to select the circle, command or control plus shift plus the right bracket key and it's on the front. All right. But now we're not going to select both and go to object and make a clipping mask. No, we're going to deselect everything. Make sure that just the layer is selected, not an object inside it. You're gonna click on the tab on the right and you have make clipping mask. It's the same exact result. The colors are gone. So we're first we're going to bring the color back, same way. Click on the dot behind it and bring it back. But what's the difference? Well, the difference is the, the second method is a clipping group 
and the third method is a clipping layer so you have a layer and the clipping group is just inside the layer but with the third one the entire layer is the group so if i want to add something for example over here so i don't know we're just gonna i'm gonna select it and we're going to a rectangle we're gonna do that i don't want to be that i want to be over there i want to be that one I'm not sure why does it do I still in the drawn side? Oh, or still in the drawn side mode, excuse me. So if I get a rectangle and put it over there, it doesn't clip it. So we're just gonna change the color to like a red so, so you can see the difference. So if I want to make this rectangle inside the clipping mask, I will have to drag the layer inside the group. And if I want to arrange it, I can just put it below the pattern, it will get below it. Well, on the third method, so a clipping layer, if you just select a layer and get do the same exact thing it's get automatically clipped because the entire layer is a clipping mask so if you have an, a, a file where you have a really big illustration with a lot of components which you want to want to animate for example then the third method might be the one you prefer if you just have one layer and just want to clip a single thing, you can actually do method number two. But if you have a big file, you want to arrange your, uh, your layers, the third one is what I would suggest the one to do. You can, just, you can just grab it and drag it around. And if you want to drag it over here, it's a group. So you have to select just a specific object and then you can just drag it around. All right. So that's the third one. So I hope the differences between number two and number three are clear. I hope so if not just put them in the comment section below and i will just take a look at it i know i'm sometimes a little bit fast so let's go to the last one that's the opacity mask and that's actually one which is uh, if you don't know how to do it it's quite difficult to figure it out so let's just get started what we want to do is we want to have the pattern have like an opacity like a gradient the same if you have like a a mask in Photoshop for example where you want to fade in fade out so we're just gonna do that so the first thing you need to do actually is um, make the opacity so we're just gonna <coughs> sorry about that we're gonna make a rectangle where we're gonna put in a gradient so we're just gonna make a gradient we're gonna go to the gradient and if you don't have it over here then you can go to window and gradient right click I want click here we go all right so that so this one pops up first we're going to just rotate it because we want it for going from the top to the bottom all right here we go all right so we're going to adjust it we're gonna put a second one in the middle with an opacity mask uh, black means uh, erase and white means show so for example if you put like a, a gray in there it will get like an opacity of 50 percent so if you have worked in photoshop you know exactly what i mean i will i will you will show you will see in a second what i mean with this so we're gonna put the middle one to white and we're gonna put, put two corners to black because we want the edges to fade so the transition between the circle and the pattern is a bit softer so we're just gonna play it around a little bit I want that one to the corner and I just no I want I don't know I don't know why it does that I want that one a little bit over here and that one a little bit over there all right so this will have like an opacity of a hundred percent and then the more uh, they go to the edges the more it will actually disappear and you will see in a second what I mean so once you've done this and you can just do whatever you want you can do with an ellipse you can just go from uh, from show to not show to an opacity from 100 to 0 from 100 to 0 so you're going to select the uh, gradient and the pattern and you're going to transparency if you don't have it same exact method go to window and you can select transparency and this one will pop up and then we just click make mask and as you can see uh, it will it will change the opacity of the edges so now it's the exact same thing from method 2 or method 3 you select uh, you will put the circle to the top select both command or control 7 and now you have like a gradient an opacity mask gradient uh, with the pattern 
well, if you want to bring the ellipse back, select it, go to the layer, open the clip, uh, clip group, select the ellipse, and bring it back. And here you go. So now it's, it's a little bit softer. If you want to change the, uh, the opacity mask, you can just select it or just click on that one, go to transparency again, click twice on the opacity mask and you can just change it around. So if you want to make it a bit softer, here you go. You want the edge to be a little bit further inside, you can do that. If you want to do it like that, you can do whatever you want. So you can still change the opacity mask. You are in a different layer. So, so if you click just a couple of times where well, I just want to go back, why do I go back? Oh, you go back to transparency and click on that one again, and you're back on your normal layers panel. So those are the four clipping masks uh, in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, each one has its own benefit, its own rules, and its own technique to, to do it, and situation where you, where you can prefer the second one above the third one. So again, if you have any questions, just put them in the comment section below. I will try to uh, read and answer all of them. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If not, refresh it. Give it another chance. Got questions? Just ask them in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video.